I just want to start by, <clears throat> I think you, see, you may have obviously seen the news that we, uh, uh, Brad Richardson was claimed on waivers today by Vancouver. <clears throat> I just want to start out by thanking Richie. Um, just an awesome, awesome kid. Um, real battler. Um, found himself out of the lineup here. Um, glad he's going to get an opportunity there. <clears throat> um, but just a, a uh, I can't say enough good things about the character of Brad, um, and we wish him wish him all the best and thank him, thank him for uh, everything he did for us this year. Um, I'm going to break a little bit of protocol, and, and, and we've um, because we've we've talked to the player, um, but both of these we've got two transactions. One is <clears throat> both in the queue right now. Um, so these are both pending the trade call. We don't anticipate anything going wrong there, but we've acquired Ryan Carpenter um, from Chicago for a fifth round pick in 2024. Um, and the other deal is with Ottawa. We've, we've traded uh, goaltender Michael McNiven to Ottawa, <clears throat> who was previously acquired from Montreal for future considerations. Um, so, with that, I'll turn it over to you for any questions. Did you try to do more today, or was it just not? No, Glenn, we did a lot of our heavy lifting in the weeks leading up to it. I know a lot gets made of today, and today we were, you know, we were looking at, at sort of working around the edges. I mean, you're always, you're always in conversations, and... Um, we didn't anticipate it to be a real active day for us. Um, you know, we looked, we, we were looking at depth, um, you know, both at, at defense and forward. Um, you know, ultimately on the blue line, <clears throat> I would say we were in the defense market, but, you know, you weigh that, you weigh, you know, the players that are out there, the prices, the prices, um, as well as the depth that you already have. So to me, bringing somebody in, it had to, it subplants somebody. And, you know, our depth, I know we all focus on just the seven guys here, but we've, you know, our, as I've said all along, we've, our, our team in Stockton has done, <clears throat> has had a tremendous year. And, uh, you know, it's not just 18 year old rookies down there. There's some guys that have been, you know, um, really good players down there that we think are also depth options for us and, and players that can come up and, and help us when and if the uh, when and if is needed. So we, we looked at that. Um, you know, Ryan's a guy we liked a lot. Um, I think he fits the style we play. He's a north-south player. Um, you know, an excellent penalty killer. He plays hard. Um, you know, he's he's got some sandpaper to his game and, and I think he'll fit in with, well with us. But I wasn't, I wasn't we didn't have to go and be real active today just to say we were active on trade deadline day. We did a lot of the a lot of the work here, you know, in the last couple of weeks. What elements, um, or I just want to ask about the element of competition um, among your forward group. Is that what you hope Ronnie and a position like him would add? I think we've got that, Kristen, already, and I think add, uh, uh, Ryan adds to that, and I think it's a good thing, you know. Um, he's a, you know, he's an experienced player. He's played in the playoffs. Um, like I said, I think he, he, he sort of fits all over the place a little bit. Um, centerman mostly, but he can play in the wing. Um, like I said, he's a hard nosed kid. Um, but yeah, there should be competition. You know, if you, if you're a good team, there should be competition. Um, you know, for ice time, for lineup, um, and I think it gives us more depth. Obviously, lo losing Richie, you know, and and we when I say depth, we also got, you know, I feel I feel comfortable with the depth we have below, you know, down below with you know Adams there right now who spent a lot of time up here, um, and some other guys. But I think certainly there's there's competition on the group, and and we like our team. Was was the move for Carpenter precipitated by the the loss of Richardson earlier in the day? No, Eric. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, lose Brad. Now we got to go get a guy. We had we had talked about Ryan prior to that. Um, like I said, Brad had been out a lot, 
Um, I would say once once we knew Brad was gone, um, you know, it it may have pushed us a little, <laughs> maybe a little bit more. But um, we were we were interested in, and 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 if we did nothing, we were comfortable with it. You know, we were comfortable with it. I think. I think you got to be careful too of just saying, okay, we got to airlift a bunch of bodies in because it's it's trade deadline day. Our team's done well. We've added to our team significantly over the last month, <clears throat> um, and uh, we're happy with how the day went. Brad, we saw a pretty good example of some flexibility you have in your forward groups in Vancouver. What do you like most about the way that it's constructed? Maybe the options that the coaching staff now has to to use here over the next month or so. Probably just that, Brendan. There's options um, that I don't think were there before. Um, like you look in Vancouver, so we made a move, and you you know you put Chucky and Bax back together, and you know let's. And this is no slight to anybody. A month ago, you probably if you do that, there's probably somebody playing, you know, above their skis a little bit, right, to go play with Johnny and 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 Lindholm. So. I think it, it gives some flexibility um, to Daryl and the staff. Um, there's lots of different options. There's lots of different people that can play different positions. Um, you know, as I said to you probably a month ago when we traded for Trevor, the team has done a really good job to get us to us. You know, showed now it was time for us upstairs to 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 help, um, and that's what we've tried to do. And so we we've. we've you know the three players that we bring that we bring in all have playoff experience. Um, they're all right shots. They all play sort of different positions. Um, they sort of fit how we play. Um, so I do think it gives us a lot of flexibility and a lot of, you know, just gives gives Daryl and the staff some options. <clears throat> Do you go into this day, I think we've asked you this, all asked you this before, but do you go into this day a little different this year because of the moves? Yeah, and yeah, and I, yeah, and we've talked about it, Kristen, like, and we talked about it as a staff. We were, we, were, we were coming in today to see we had some specific things we were looking at um, that we wanted to try to do. If we couldn't do it, we were okay with it. We, we didn't have to force anything. And sometimes when you're, you feel like you got to force something just because if you haven't added to it, right? Um, and like I said, not just add dad, but you know, we filled what we thought were, you know, areas that we needed to fill prior to today. So again, today was a day that it's your last time to make, uh, you know, make make transactions or make additions. And we, so we we looked at it, looked at a lot of things hard, and and uh, like I said, we we're able to we we're able to add Ryan, and we're happy with that. How do you describe your team right now going to the playoffs? Or let me rephrase that. I know, I know, I know. How do you describe your team now as you set up for this final stretch run? <clears throat> well, I like, like I said, we, we, we like our team. We have, we have liked our team. Um, today wasn't about doing anything because we felt we needed to, but it, it gives us a little more depth. Um, I, I like the makeup of our team. What I really like, I, I like the approach, like the business. It's a, it's a real business. You guys are around them every day. There's a business-like approach to the team. Um, they're steady at the wheel. Um, we've got, we still got 20, what is it, 20, 20 games, 21 games to go. Um, so there's lots of, there's lots of regular season hockey left. Um, you know, we've got to clinch a playoff spot. I like, I like the chemistry of the group. Um, you know they they believe they're a good team. Um, there's a good feel around it, you know, and uh, <clears throat> I'm glad we could add to it.